Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. We're on a roll right now. Yes, sir. And in today's video, because we know you've already read the title, we are taking a look at the Jordan Why Not 0.4. Let's get it. Yeah. First and foremost, massive shout out to The Plug, aka Pro Direct Basketball, for taking care of your boys. They can also take care of you, but before they can do, all you must do is click the link in the description box below Amen. to their website and enjoy life. Indeed. And of course, make sure you like this video, comment down below what your thoughts are of this review of the shoe. Do you have them? Do you mess with them? Do you not mess with them? Do you mess with this review? Let us know in the comment section down below. And the most important most thing important. that we need you guys to do is to hit that subscription button. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to stay notified really, every really, time really. we drop a new really, video. Really. And while you're at it, you might as well also follow us on Instagram as well. And in all our socials, but especially on Instagram, at This Is Pure Kicks. So all of our socials, especially Instagram, at This Is Pure Kicks. The Brody. Brody. Mr. Triple Double himself. Brody. Is now on his fourth signature shoe. Come on. Well deserved. Well deserved. Ooh, well deserved. As of the recording of this video, he is now a Los Angeles Laker. LA. Come on. He's about to have a crazy season. I'm calling it now. Them boys over there are about to win a chip. I always had a chip. Okay. I always had a chip. But without further ado, let's get straight into the shoe. Clutch. That was alright, innit? Perfect. I, I switched up a little bit. You got it. But what did you switch up? What do you mean? If I mean, without further ado, let's get straight no, into perfect. it. Let's get straight into the shoot because I'm perfect. I'm doing this rhyming thing. I don't know if you clocked. I, I did the do do before. <laughs> the rhyming thing. <laughs> I'm doing this rhyming thing. I'm doing this rhyming thing. I don't know if you clocked. <laughs> First and foremost, starting out with our favorite part of the shoot might shock a few people. Yes. It's the materials. I mean, it shouldn't shock people shouldn't. because the Brody always comes home with materials in the shoe. Always. But yeah, the materials came hard. Came through. And like you just said, Brody always comes through with design and materials yeah. when it comes to his shoes. So far, he ain't missed. Nope. Every single time, they look fantastic. And the materials are always something a little out of the box. Yeah. Even if they're not, in this case, which is basically mesh everywhere, the way they're put together is way out of the yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We see a medley of different types of meshes all over the upper with synthetic overlays in the heel to give you that um, extra support yep. and even added layers in highway areas as well. Yeah. Put together in such a nice way. Some of these colorways are crazy. Bro. Oh my God. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And when you have layered mesh like this, mm. they're usually not that breathable. It's, yeah, that's facts. But th they smack to here with Pulled the breathability. Off. Pulled it off. Again, going back to design. Yeah, it's all it's it, 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 you know it all comes down to how you put the materials together. Facts. So that and the minimal breaking time as oh, well. Oh, it's always nice. It means that the rest book, why not zero point four, gets a nine out of ten from materials. Damn straight. It's a light one. It's a light one. Yeah. At the gate. Come on. Now the next thing that we both messed with mm -hmm. was actually the cushioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now here in the why not zero point fours we have a Phylon carrier that houses not one but two zoom units, double stacked in the forefoot. Yeah, it's right here. As you guys can see, this black section hosts a double stacked forefoot zoom unit. And it's fantastic stuff, bro. It's exactly where both of us want our zoom in the forefoot. None of this heel zoom action. You know what I'm saying? It makes complete sense, especially yeah. for a player like Brody. All he does is move forward. Yeah, literally. Extremely quickly. Yeah, he's a linear player. There you go. I'm going to be very honest with you, bro. Uh, hooping in these, I might have felt the bounces I've ever felt it, like in like, the last four years. Facts. I felt bouncy in these, Facts. bro. Like, I hear it. Yeah. The, the, I really hear that, it. That, that, that extra uh, propulsion oh, there it to is. my first step was amazing. It's exactly what you want out of a double step. Exactly what you know. want. Now, impact protection, good. It's there. It's there. Yeah. Low to ground, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm definitely with it. Court feels good. It's there as well. And of course, it's cozy as well. Yeah. So, something lost, but not a lot. Hold a 9 out of 10. Yeah, for sure. It's up there, though. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely up 9 there. 9 out of 10. Yeah. I am mad at that. 
And for our third favorite part of the shoe, it's gonna be the traction. In the Westbrook Why Not 0.4s, we have a data in what was it data informed? Data informed. I almost had it, I should have just data said it. Data informed tread, tread pattern. pattern. I almost should have just said it. Data informed traction, tre traction tre tread pattern, isn't it? Tre tread pattern, yes. I could have said tread pattern. I'm For our third favorite part of the shoe, it's gonna be the traction. Yeah. In the Why Not 0.4s, you've got a data informed tread pattern. Ooh. Brother, a data informed tread pattern. Yeah, that sounds serious. AKA, Confetti traction. Yeah, pretty much confetti traction. We have mini tiny nodes everywhere on the outside. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're a little bit malleable, so they move with you as you move. They do, yeah. And they're pretty bitey. Is yeah. that even a word, bro? It's a word, bro, they're bitey. <laughs> what I like about this traction pattern is that even though the individual nodes are quite malleable, quite pliable, mm -hmm. um, they don't wear away as quickly as you think. As quick as, quick as you they're, think. They're quite sturdy. They're quite tough. I have to agree. Um, and they'd actually be decent for outdoors. Again, not ideal traction. Not ideal. For, for Agreed. Outdoors. Best way to put it. But in terms of the actual durability of the outsole, um, yeah, it bangs. I, I really liked it. I was surprised. Specifically, I've been outdoors with these, I would say, about twice. Right. And going hard. So right. playing some outdoor courts. And they've held up from yeah. what you'll see. From what you'll see in the close-ups, they've held up pretty well. And when we're talking indoor, dust collection isn't too much of a problem. It's not. Uh, bite is there. Coverage is great. Yeah. I would talk about it right now, this split outsole, this part of the shoe. Yeah. We don't see more ads into support, which we'll get to a little later. But this does help, of course, with that heel to toe traction as well, yeah. which maybe is another part of the shoe. But because we're talking about traction and it's right here, I'll throw that in there. So overall, I enjoyed the traction. Same. I'm still going to give it an eight out of 10. Same. We'll mess with that. Yeah, for sure. It backed. Durability, come on. Now next up, we have our next favorite part of the shoe, mm -hmm. uh, and that is the fit. Now, is it really a favorite part of the shoe for me? It's favorite the word? I don't know, my guy. It's a weird one, it's a weird Talk one, okay? Now the fit for me, personally, was a little big. The shoe ran a little big for me, okay? okay. Um, now, it, w it wasn't a problem that I couldn't solve without doubling up on my socks. Cool. I mean, once I doubled up, I was calm, mm -hmm. however, after hooping the knees for about an hour, mm. I had to relace my shoes okay, because they loosened up a little bit. That is dead. It's dead. That's bro. highly dead. The thing is, I'm not gonna lie, I can't really relate. Right. I can relate with the loosening. Right. I can. But the fit for me did hold my foot really well. Yeah. I liked them. I don't think that they would fit that big. I enjoyed the lacing system. Yes, I was going to touch, touch on, on that, that in well. a minute. Yeah. I did enjoy that. I don't feel I feel like they fit really, really well, but I do hear you on the loosening. So talk to them about the lacing system again. Yeah, I mean, the, the, it was a bit upsetting because the lacing system is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like once you're actually laced in, the lacing system, you know, the materials conform to your foot nicely. We love it. That's we what have I'm the webbed lacing system where uh, a band in the forefoot and a band in the heel help the materials conform around your foot nicely. Dope. Um, so, you know, once you are locked in, it feels great. Yep. However, once you hoop in them a little bit, in my experience, they loosened up. It just didn't stay that way. It didn't stay that way. Okay, that's frustrating. You know know what what I'm I do hear, I do hear. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, and, and again, I'll touch on that in support a little bit as well. But yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, I still wouldn't go down half the size, even though they fit a little big. Got you. Um, Good advice. The sizing was still really nice for me. Um, but yeah. It's a weird one. It's the experience that throws it for you. Yeah, isn't? for real. Because, okay, so we're going to give it a seven. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. experience is a big one when yeah. it comes to just hooping in a shoe. The last thing you want is a shoe taking you out of your game. For real. And if you mean you've got to bend down to lace, your, lace yourself up every hour, mm, it's a bit tough. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah seven. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. Now, last and not least, we have the it's support. It's definitely least, bruv. It's least, isn't it? It's fully least. That's why we say least. It's a support, isn't it? It's a support. And unfortunately, the support is let down by the fit. But talking about the support, the support in the Y Note 0.4s comes from a very minimal outrigger Super shape. Super minimal. Yeah, we'll touch on that as well. You're generous uh, for even saying minimal. We have an internal TPU heel counter. Yeah, we have that. And then we also have the web lacing system, like we mentioned in the fit, that's going to help conform and conform the materials and, and keep you locked in the shoe. Okay, now, uh, the TPU heel counter was great. Yes, strong, sturdy. One thing I didn't like about the, 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 the lack of tightness okay. in the lacing system is that again, once 
uh, the shoe loosened up a little bit and my heel was moving, mm. I was feeling some pain in my heel, bro. Namely Damn. my Achilles, my Achilles tendon. Now that's scary, right? Nowadays, that's scary to be feeling that on the, on the court. Do you know what I'm saying? And it was that, it was that, that reminded me that I needed to tighten my shoes up a little wow. bit. Wow! Do you get what that I'm saying? That was the indicator. Now, I don't know if that is the shoe itself or if that was just me, mm. personally. Um, but can you say you felt that in other shoes then? I didn't. And there's your answer then, which is a shame. It's a shame. Um, but apart from that, you know, the, the, the TPU here kind of does do its job. Um, I feel like this is a very linear shoe. Do you know we talked you about this a second ago, mentioned this we? before. Yeah. Um, very up and down, not much lateral movement. So la lateral support isn't really there like that. Um, but all in all, it's still a decent supportive shoe for guards and, you know, you know, for, for, for low top shoes. Those athletic point guards as well, I think I have to completely agree. I think there's some things missing when we talk support. I am very surprised that Outrigger is damn near non-existent. Yeah. Um, we spoke about it before, the lacing system and the design come together really well, but just don't quite get the job done yeah. when it comes to holding a foot in one place yeah. so you can do Westbrook things, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, what are you giving a score, bro? I'm giving it a seven. I'm giving it a seven because the support is not trash. Mm. The support only for me goes downhill once the shoe loosens up a little bit. And that's again experience. Exactly. Once you're locked in, you're good. The support is fine. I'm fighting with you, but now nah, I have to back a seven. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I'll, I'll back it. Seven it is. So right guys, looking at all the scores, the why not 0 0.4 comes out at an 8.0 out of 10. 8.0. It does the job, bro. It does the job very well, yeah. bro. Let's not play that down. Eight out of 10 is a high score on this channel. Very, very high score. The, the traction and oh cushioning combination is sweet. With the materials? Oh it, my God. It's crazy how we have double stack zoom in the forefoot, but double it doesn't stacks. sacrifice court feel. That is an experience in and of itself. The materials banged. Oh, they're wonderful. Wow, they're wonderful incredible. Wonderful materials. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. And then, of course, the shoe was let down a little bit by the fit, but that's just me. Timmy didn't really experience that. So Too all tough, pens. but I hear it. So, yeah, man. 8.0 is definitely deserved. For sure. And if you, if you have anything to say about some of those scores, make sure you comment down below. How was the fit for you? It was our letdown. The support as well was a bit of a letdown for us. Yeah. But what was it for you if you tried them on already? Let people know that in the, in the comments for sure. Yeah. Every single I mean, time. while you're there, you might as well like this video. I mean, you might as well you before as well you get like to that, it. in fact. Put yeah. it like it and then keep scrolling. Yeah. And then whether it's before or after you did any of those two things, in your own steps. you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to stay notified Hello. whenever we drop a, a new video. Facts. Might as well while you're there. Because you're probably going to drop a couple of comparisons. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. comparison time, baby. So it makes sense to make sure you hit that bell still. Also, don't forget to follow your boys on the socials at This Is Pure Kicks across the board, especially on Instagram. That's where your boys are most active. We're trying our best for the others, but we're really killing things over on Instagram. So make sure you go show love and hit that follow button and don't miss a thing when it comes to the boys with the kicks. Is that it? And lastly, massive shout out to Prodirect Basketball once again. If you would like a pair of the Why Not 0.4s or anything Jordan Westbrook related, click the link in the description box below to the Prodirect Basketball website and enjoy life. So all right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Jordan Why Not 0.4s. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.